Hello again, a new day, a new project. Uh, I have some more tests to do with this KK Moon uh, DCO 120M, and it's looking like it's pretty similar MSD 120M. Let's read the manual. So we have over there voltage accuracy 10%, frequency accuracy 1%. That's very nice. Then the standby time. I don't know what it means, but I think it's working time. Uh, it's about eight hours. We'll see about that. I also find the info about auto shutdown with no signal in 15 minutes. Let's have some DC tests. This is a lithium polymer pack and we have 12.4.1.5. Let's see the oscilloscope now. So this one is 13.4 and we have 12. Point, how much I said? 12.15 I think, 12.15, 12.15, let's do the math, okay, 0 0.90, it's in the limit, it's in those 10%, now I changed the polarity here, and we have average of, average, it's 9.04, and let me see the voltmeter again, 8.17, 8.17 divided by 9.04. So we almost have the same numbers, equals 0 0.903. It's in the 10% limit, no doubt about. Okay. So this is about batteries. Now let me have some uh, power supply. Okay. Let's see this power supply here. It should be 12 volts. And we have 12.23. So we have power supply, 12.23 volts. Okay, let's go to the oscilloscope and let's take the average. And we have 13.6 oscilloscope voltmeter here. Okay, so this is a little bit better. It's only 9% or something, 8 point something percent. If I use this with my Arduino, we should have here 5.06 my voltmeter. And let me see the oscilloscope. So we are on average voltage and do the same measurements. So I have the ground here, 5.46, 5.06 divided by 5.46, and we have 92%, 0, 0, 0.0927. This is even better. So we should have a five volts over here and three volts. Okay, let me try like this. 5 volts here, 3.3 over there. Now let's check it with the oscilloscope. 5, 47 or 46 average and 3.57. It's the same ratio. So the DC voltage, it's higher with around 8% than a voltmeter. That's the way it's working. Anyway, it's in the it's in the limits. 10% voltage accuracy. Now, what I'm worried about, let's have some we have the Arduino on and this is a crystal here and we should have 16 megahertz. Let's not forget if the frequency is more than 5 megahertz, the probe should go on 10x. Same story here. 10x or 10 times auto and there we are let's go on AC 1 volt 500 millivolts yeah that's a very steady 16 megahertz but you can see I can have it larger than 500 millivolts here and the uh, oscilloscope it's barely keeping the frequency 
or barely displaying the frequency. Look there, it's, it's looking pretty ugly. If I'm going to 1x, it's no more oscillation here. So 1x means that 1 mega ohm applied to the crystal, it's blocking the oscillation. So 1 volt and that's it. You see, I'm very disappointed, really disappointed. This uh, oscilloscope is advertised like uh, bandwidth 120 megahertz. It it's 16 megahertz. That's like maybe one eighth from the possibilities. We should have a really nice sinusoidal sample over there, but it's not, not at all. But anyway, this is 16 megahertz from a Arduino Uno oscillator, and look. It's disappointing, very disappointing. Let me see if I can make this running without the display. So we have there another crystal and that's like eight megahertz, 277, one kilohertz, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's looking good. Five, 10 kilohertz, 50, 153, why? Oh, it's for radio something. And two megahertz. And it's not a square anymore. It's more like a so wave. So let's have the probe on 10x. Same story. 2.3 volts or something. Well, I'm really, really disappointed. This is a very simple, a very simple waveform. It shouldn't be any problem to to measure this, to have this under control. It's square. I know that it's perfect square. Okay. So now let's do something else. 500 let's see if I can measure any frequencies around here very clear 10 kilohertz that's the output yeah that's the 8 megahertz from the crystal look at the wave and I can go lower but look look at that it's ugly and it's only 8 megahertz only. Let me have let me have a real field measurement. So I have a radio around. I found there one of crystal oscillator around 75 kilohertz. So I can even measure the steps for one sinusoidal uh, wave. So we have like you can see the screen we have 12 microseconds and we have like 34 steps with a very simple mathematic i found that the sampling is 2.83 samples per second so where are those 500 mega samples they advertise this is such a bullshit and by the way look how ugly even a 75 kilohertz is looking on the screen there is no way to use this. It's just, I have to admit that it's not exactly what I thought. Really nice advertising, but the product is just a piece of junk. At least the battery is okay, so I start the test at 12 o'clock in the night almost. So uh, it's going strong, 1 o'clock in the morning, and uh, here we are, 2 o'clock, uh, 3, 4, 5 o'clock. What it's interesting about, around six o'clock after six hours, more than six hours, the display lose the brightness. It was slowly shutting down. That's kind of strange, you know? That means there is no control about when to stop it and how the battery is working in the system. Okay, but at least it takes six hours to, to shut down. There is no auto shutdown function. The oscilloscope was here up and running for one hour. And as you can see, it's running strong without signal in. So uh, that's, uh, that is also a fake advertising. Auto shutdown now exists. I'm sorry to say that, but this little uh, oscilloscope is good for, let's say maximum, maximum uh, two megahertz 
or somewhere in between, you know, the audio spectrum. Okay, let's say one megahertz of sinusoidal. But uh, as you can see, I tried 16 megahertz, a very clear sinusoidal from a, from a crystal oscillator. I tried 8 megahertz with this one and uh, the same results. So all I have to say that it's not, oh, it's good for hobby. It's good for beginner or uh, I don't know. It's good to have it around. Why not? But not for this price. Thank you for now. I'll be back soon with some other projects. Hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to have fun and bye bye.